Whoa. I want to welcome us to another uh, series of uh, training or another training uh, in our training series of grass cutter farm business. Uh, this is Oludele Atunishi from Farm Sense Grass Cutter Base, Ipado, Nigeria. And looking at the subject of discussion in this uh, training series, series, we are looking at how to avoid animal lost due to food poison. And that is why I caption it with a title, Grass Cutter Farmers, There is Death in the Grasses. So it's a call out to every grass cutter farmer to know that as much as there is uh, the food you are giving your grass cutter, as much as it is beneficiary and nourishing you know, uh, beneficiary to their growth, to their development, production and what have you, same also there is death in the same grass. And that is what we shall be expanding of discussing in this uh, presentation so it's a call out on every grass cutter farmer to uh, to be conscious of death in the grasses so once again the, 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 discussion, the topic of discussion is grass cutter farmers there is death in the grass so what is required for the growth for the reproduction and production productivity and the sustenance or sustainability of your grass cutter and your grass cutter farm is the is grass is grasses and in the same grasses there are death if cares uh cares are not taken and so that is why it has a rider that says how to avoid animal how to avoid animal loss due to food poison so uh we'll be explaining this more about this uh, title don't be scared of course some people say ah, okay if there is there is death in the grasses what are we going to give them but you still give them the uh, grasses what we are looking into or what we are going to concentrate on in this title is how to avoid death or how to get rid of death how to get rid of death in the grasses you will be giving your grass cutter that is why we put it here how to avoid animal loss due to food poison okay avon uh give a short brief explanation of what we are looking into this this presentation uh, i want to start with this writer that said you are what you hit as a woman being you are what you hit what does that mean it means that it means what you are what you are what you hit means that is that it is important to hit good food in order to be healthy and fit it is important to eat good food in order to be healthy and fit so that is what the the phrase or the uh, can we call it phrase or sentence that says you are what you hit so if as a woman be you are what you hit meaning that it is very important for you to hit good food in order to be healthy and be and be fit the same thing is applicable to your animal don't forget they are also uh mama when we are categorizing in i think in uh, biology and agriculture so Woman be we are just a uh, higher mama or bigger her mama, but every other living things they also they are mama, especially uh, looking at the categories of uh, grass cutter, they also they are mamas. So, as a woman be, if what we eat is so important to our healthy living, our fitness, the same thing is applicable to your grass cutter. So, the way you take care of what to call you consume, what to eat, what you drink, what to inhale, what to, the kind of food you expose yourself to, the same way you have to be very careful with what you give your grass cutter. As there will be a death in the food you are giving them, which may lead or will surely lead to loss of animal, loss of your grass cutter, which is not what you want in your grass cutter farming business now i haven't said this so what to give your animal with this way determine if they will be healthy 
or they will be sickly. And that's a matter of if they will be healthy or they will be they let me call it they will be dead anima because one thing i know or uh, in my own understanding is that every sickness he uh, can kill no matter how minute or how simple it may you, you may call it or you may look at it every sickness has the capacity to kill so also when someone is not healthy he will be sick you will be sick and when someone is sick then death is closer to such a person except for god intervention okay now that we have seen that what to give you animal will determine if they will be healthy or they will be sick and then how you can avoid heartbreaking story like this that will be showing you in this slide you can avoid heartbreaking story like this seeing your animal dying and feeling and feel helpless as a farmer when your animal they are dying or they are sick you will be helpless the joy of every farmer is to see his or farmer especially grass cutter being active jumping from one corner to another giving them food they finish it they are praying they are they are seeking for more and they are playing around they see you they rush to you to collect the food and they eat it they are growing they are developing and you are getting results from them but uh if you don't give them or serve them a say, uh kind of food that is free from poison uh you will see them dying and then you will be helpless because the truth of the matter is this you know they are animal whatever you serve them is what they will eat they can't detect maybe there is poison there or not it is you that will do your due diligence to know that what you are serving them we have no side effect on them because any food you give to them if it is otherwise to make them weak and if it make them weak before you know it uh that is uh is the uh, is imminent so we will not uh, labor in vain in the name of jesus right but to avoid such a uh, heartbreaking story like seeing your animal dying and you are helpless looking for help you know someone said that precaution is better than cure so it's better you procure your you prevent situation that will bring about your animal dying than looking for cure that's the best that is the best that is the best okay so you can see the animal on the screen very weak having eat uh, food poison it's an animal that is very active that will jump from one place to another running to uh to the farmer to collect food in his hand but now the way it is as you can see it very weak it cannot even move itself so the truth of the matter is this this animal was lost to death let me tell you that is and it is it on the ground just see look at it just see you can see it's dead how it is now i will not put on you it's very pathetic and uh, these are the animal they are about to be crossed i think it's about five months uh, old animal or so that's it so you can't avoid to experience something like this you can't but if you don't want to experience something like this the best thing is to serve your animal food grasses that is free from poison that is free from death let me put it that way now that we have seen this pathetic story or experience now we need to understand that the food that is the grasses can be a poison or nourishment to your animal that's the truth of the matter even as a woman being what to eat or sometimes you discover that well, as a woman being sometimes you start purging the first question a wise man will ask that what did i eat so it's not about okay let me take flaggy let me take this drug you need to ask question what did i eat and the same thing is to your animal so when you see them weak or something is happening to them you know the question is that what did i serve them because you see uh often time what kill the grass cutter in their numbers in the farm is more of the food you serve them hardly you see a grass cutter that died of uh, that uh, died of uh, maybe bruises wound or cold of a thing those ones you can easily treat it and then get over it but when they eat poisonous food will, in form of grasses or food you serve them often time they don't survive it so the food that is the grasses 
that you serve your animal can either be a poison or nourishment to them so at this point please you have to be very more careful and sensitive about what to serve your animal just be very sensitive and be detailed yes in fact you have to be very detailed conscious of no if i give them this thing if anything uh if there's something wrong with this thing i want to give them would they survive it so don't be careless about what to give them just give them to achieve the animal they will eat it and they will survive it often time grass cutter don't survive for food and poison so please so as a grass cutter farmer especially you know you are domesticating them so they can't find the you know in the wild they know how they, they take care of themselves how they treat themselves and how they avoid their poisonous uh, food but here yeah, you are to take responsibility to take care of them to see to it that whatsoever you serve them is healthy not is dead not deadly to them okay so the food or grasses that you are serving them can either be a poison or nourishment consciously or unconsciously because i know a right sense uh grass cutter farmer will never serve his grass cutter with a uh, poison but what i'm trying to say or what this presentation is training is about is that how to be very careful that you are not mistakenly serving your animal with food poison thinking that you are serving them food that are grasses that will nourish their body so that is what it is i know a very a a right sense uh, grass cutter farmer will never serve his animal uh dry uh, poison now the question now is what are the causes of food poison in grass cutter farm business because if you don't know the causes of a thing you wouldn't know how to avoid it or how to uh, uh guide against it yes so causes of food poison in grass cutter farmer include acidic fee food there are many food that have been uh, uh like, in fact, like what i need to write here is acidic and contaminated food yes it's acidic and contaminated and food i'm sorry it should be acidic and okay so uh, sorry for a break so we are looking at causes of food uh, poison in grass cutter farm business with stress number one is this acidic and contaminated food any food any food you want to serve your animal make sure that it's not contaminated neither is acidic and most some of the food that may probably be contaminated or acidic in nature that we may uh, unknowingly or uh, ignorantly serve our animal that may cause poison or that may poison them is such as uh, cassava and pelletized meat we know the pelletized meat that is the talking about the meal uh, chicken meal uh, pelletized meal or the fish uh, uh meal so you know when you say something is contaminated that means that uh something else you know mistakenly it has been contaminated either it can be contaminated by rodent it can be contaminated by flies can be contaminated by human being it can be contaminated, contaminated by chemical or uh nature let's put it away you know for example now giving point uh, pelletized uh, meal you want to give your animal it must not be moody if it is moldy it will affect them that is it must not gather moisture it must be in a dry uh, place dry warm place it should always be dry not something that i uh, probably water has entered into it and it has built up uh, mocos or hage or something that when your animal hit it it will affect them you understand what i'm trying to say and then the same thing cassava there are cassava type that are acidic in nature so you must avoid it when you don't you are not too sure of a cassava you want to give your animal if it is acidic or not then stay away from giving them cassava if you don't know the difference between the acidic cassava and the one that is not acidic then don't bother giving the your grass cutter uh, cassava it's not by force and the same thing talking about the pelletized uh, meal or other cereal uh, series such as a uh, maize corn and other uh, food if 
you are not too sure maybe it's contaminated or it's in a good condition don't serve your animal so that you not have heartbreaking story to tell about your animal because every time you see death of animal in your farm the first thing you have to check is what food did i serve them and when you check the food you serve them you must check is it in good condition so you yeah, hardly you see grass cutter just drop down and die no it, it, most of the time they died uh most of the time grass cutter died of a uh food poison so and these are the causes of food poison uh in grass cutter farming acidic or contaminated food and not only that we have what we call grass cutter parasite high that is grasses that we are giving there must not be infested with parasites such as larvae insect caterpillar we know all this especially in our biology or our greek we know the insect that i know that attach they are parasitic uh, insect that attach themselves to grasses even as human being you know when you buy your vegetable you always see uh, for, uh, some inter insects attached to it so you take your time to check and see to it that the grasses you are serving your grass cutter is free from uh parasite that can be harmful especially parasitic insects that can be harmful to your animal because they will hit any of these grain insects with the grasses they are hitting unknowingly it are uh, the truth of the matter is that it will turn to food poison to them and then they will die that's it so and uh, here is a picture of uh, this can you see look at that grasses that grass with that uh, caterpillar or larvae i'll we'll call it it's now so if a grass cutter hit this grass with this insect that is dead nothing nothing there's nothing you can there's nothing there's no other way to it it's dead straight you can't survive it under 48 hours it will die that's just it and then here another one look at it now this one is commonly seen in a uh, this one is commonly seen when you are giving them your uh, guinea grass, elephant grass, uh, maize uh, stick, or maize stick, maize uh, 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 maize uh, hub, and you can get it. You know, from the but we know you. I believe you see. Well, you understand what I'm trying to say about this uh, image. That because this is it. so, if animal hit it, there's no way it will survive it because they are poison in the food they are poison in the food you serve them so it is your duty it is your responsibility to check thoroughly the grasses or whatsoever you are serving them that is not contaminated or it doesn't it is not infested with parasite or insect or caterpillar or larva that may be injurious or deadly to their well-being you can see cassava also there are to a different type of cassava we have the acidic one we have the neutral one that that can be given to your grass cutter so the neutral one is safe for your honey animal but the other one that is acidic is not safe no grass cutter that hit it and survive it so ignorantly if you serve them the cassava that is acidic in nature dead straight that is food poison okay and this is another one like we're looking at the pelletized look at this pelletized now you know sometimes you may finish using it after you finish using it you have to take care of it make sure that you tie it that the uh, the something did not gather moisture you put it in a place that it does not receive, uh, gather moisture or other parasites or rodents did not work on it for example now this kind of uh, pelletized now food now if uh, for example, let rodents that's in talking about us, right? A rat enter to it, you know, they will hit and if person they will urine on it. And now, the same food that they grab a uh, rat as it eat and they urinate on it, and you just carry it and serve them. You know what it means, even as a human being, it will lead to cholera or the dysentery or whatsoever. Now, the same thing may happen to your animal grass cutter and they may not survive so when you are giving them this kind of pelletize something number one make sure that you are getting it from the farmer that the source of it is safe and even when you now have it at home when you have the leftover make sure that you take good care of it number one avoid water to enter and when you discover that water has entered throw it away don't manage to give to your animal hence 
you are playing with death in your farm that is after serving them you are serving them food poison thinking that you are serving them more food that will nourish their body you get it now so then the question is how to avoid feeding your animal with food and poison number one let your farm wash world be safety first feeding your animal so when you are about to feed your animal safety first should be your wash world that is you are uh, detailed you are sensitive you are conscious of you are shaking thoroughly the grasses or the food you are giving them so you are conscious of safety of the animal that you can't avoid to give them any food that will be detrimental that will de that will detriment at uh, the detriment of their heads do you get now so let your farm wash world be safety force they can't defend themselves they can't protect themselves you are the one that will take responsibility to see to it that what you are giving them is safe for them so that's that number two don't give your animal any grass that is that its safety and hygiene is not guaranteed so when you are not guaranteed of the safety and the hygiene of any uh grasses or food please don't give them even let's assume that you have someone to go and help you to harvest the grasses or the food when you are in doubt of the safety and the hygiene of the uh, food or the grasses please it's better you throw it away than uh, take chance and giving it to them you will not do you not record loss in your farm if you don't want to record loss in your farm so please avoid that and once again don't affect grasses for your grass cutter from a polluted environment where are the polluted area for example now don't pull your face grass cut grasses from a, a residential environment i have said this one before residential environment may look neat to you but you know residential environment is a place that everybody wants uh want to uh, clean their environment and where as grasses is growing some may not use a cutlasses to cutlass to cut it they may they might have spray the grasses with an uh, herbicide that is chemical and you know most of the time the chemical that spray that is sprayed on the grasses often time take between 24 hours to 48 hours before it will take effect on the grasses and now unknowingly to you after they have sprayed the grasses maybe less than two three four five hours they sprayed it you went there and you harvested it what you are doing that you are feeding your animal with chemical may infested grasses so that is why it is not advisable to get uh, a first grasses for your grass cutter in a residential environment because you don't know the safety of the condition maybe the grasses has been polluted with one chemical or the other and also you can't avoid to uh, uh, affect grasses from mechanic village you know mechanic village is an environment that's polluted with oil grease and every other automobile chemical and you may not know uh those grasses might have been polluted with all this oil the grease and the likes and you went there and affect your grasses so or for your grass cutter that is that you are exposing your animal to grasses affected from polluted environment you can't avoid to affect your grass cutter the grasses from the along the road just anywhere no or uh, along the uh, drainage or cutter no it's not correct and what again look out for worms or larvae or insect in the grasses affects even after you have affected your grasses from a safe environment from hygiene and you have that you are sure of the safety and the hygiene of the grasses yet you have to look out for you have to take your time to check the grasses diligently one by one and check if there is no worms larvae insect caterpillar if there's none attached to the grasses either in the stem or in the leaves so that if your grass cutter hits it you know what it means uh, there will be no loss so you have to give attention to this detail so after you have affected your grass cutter and uh, your grasses make sure that you check the uh the will take time to check the grasses one after the other to see to it that there's no worm there's no insect there's no caterpillar or larvae is that okay and that is why it is advisable that when you want to harvest your grass cutter most of the time go in the afternoon between 12 and 1 hour of 12 and 1 or 2 in the afternoon so that sun will be shining the if there's insect they will have dropped off the 
uh, of the grasses as a result of the intensity of the sunshine on the grass do you get it now so that is one thing you can do and then don't give your animal grass that you you doubt its consumption by the by grass cutter what does this mean that is the grasses that you have never seen anybody giving their grass cutter before or that you doubt maybe grass cutter will hit it or not please don't give your animal such don't do try and error with your animal okay for example now you see one grass in your environment yeah grass cutter is supposed to eat this have you seen any grass cutter farmer before feeding his or a grass cutter with it so when you doubt the consumption of a particular grasses by your gra by grass cutter by, by grass cutter please don't give your animal grasses that you doubt its consumption by grass cutter you know just like it, it's just like okay you also you saw something a particular food or a particular vegetable or a particular uh, grasses or let's put it grasses or leaves in the farm and you just cut it in the layer people supposed to eat it or a particular fruit you see every fruit that you see in the bush that is consumable no some of them they are poison do you get it now so the same thing concerning your grass color the grasses the food or the food uh, whatsoever that you are not too sure or you are in doubt of its consumption by grass cutter please don't give them you are not a researcher you're a farmer that you want to make profit that you want to make money that you are you don't want to give chances to how you feed your animal so that you not mistakenly feed your animal with poison thinking that you are giving them grass thinking and saying that you are trying to test if you want to test then you, you, you what you need to do is uh take one grass cutter aside and feed it you feed such a grass cutter for one or two three days and see to it so what you need to stick to is that stick to grasses that you know that other animal uh, grass cutter farmers they are giving the common and popular grasses and food that you know that is being given or being consumed by grass cutter stick to that one don't try to do try an error or become a mr researcher on a uh, the kind of food grass cutter heat has you will, you will be giving them uh food poison and again don't be careless with how you harvest and serve your grass cutter their grasses you can't just avoid to uh, serve them the grasses anyhow for example now you just uproot a particular grass and now you don't take time to wash the root or to cut the root away you just serve them both the root and the stem and then even with a touch of a sand you see so you have to be very care you can't be careless on how with how you affect and serve your grass cutter you just affect the grass cutter anyhow you just uproot it and then you just dump it into in their cage just like that even when there is sand you don't shake maybe there's anything attached to it that may be poisonous to them where you need to wash wash it where you need to cut some part of it away cut it away we have to need to give it attention and shake what you are, not that you just do a uh, uh, pick and dump no you have to make their food neat and clean so you have to make it clean and uh, clean and neat for example now some of the time i do tell people that try as much as possible to have a uh certain solution to 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 wash your the grasses that you want to give your animal we so, you know with some solution it will serve as a chemical that i uh, grain that uh, insect that may be attached to the grasses cannot withstand so some of them that are attached to the grass when you dip the grasses inside your solution they will drop off so and uh, make sure you watch their food whatever you want to serve them make sure that it's clean and neat don't just serve them anyhow they have to run the animal uh, at least that's the way they take this they take care of themselves in the in the white they are not in the white you have taken responsibility to take care of them then be up to date so you can't avoid to be careless with how you harvest and serve your grass cutter their grasses or their food make it neat and make it clean do you get it now and note elephant grasses guinea grass bamboo grass and stem are popular and common grasses eaten by grass cutter so this one has to do in reference to what i said the other time that don't give your animal 
grasses that you are doubt in or doubt is consumption by grass cutter so at least if you don't know what to serve your animal stick to elephant grasses stick to guinea grass stick to bamboo grass or stem in fact you can give them also uh hugu stem you can give them uh uh watermelon you can give them cucumber you can give them carrot you can give them a uh, uh, sweet potato uh, you can give them a uh, yam you can give them cassava but it must not be the acidic one so you can give them a uh, maize corn you know the fresh corn the dry one that has been removed from the hops you can give them you can give them uh, uh, not too ripe uh, uh, mango not too ripe uh, uh, what is called the purple all this these are the food that you can serve them as a supplement but in terms of grasses give them as much as elephant grasses guinea grass bamboo grass ugu stem there's water grass and many others but at least if you don't know much if this theory you can stick to it give them elephant grass guinea grass and bamboo stem and also probably you can get ugu stem from those market women so if you can do this you avoid feeding your animal with food poison and they will be healthy and active and producing for you okay having said this i don't know if you have any question or inquiry regarding what you have said then you can surely contact us and then you can contact us at farm sense for any of the following services as well training one-on-one -on -one training group training training manual in form of ebook video and audio and also you can also get our service for grass cutter breed stock either winner or hard dot at affordable price and also you need a grass cutter cage wooden or iron cage or you need grass cutter feeder and drinker you need farm setup consultancy and also any other grass cutter farm related service you can just call us on plus two three four zero eight one six six four one six two zero zero or come to our whatsapp dm for more detail on plus two three four Eight one eight eight zero zero eight two five two. It has been the first of Ludila Tunishi, farm manager at Farm Sense Grass Cutter, uh, farm grass cutter uh, base in Badon or your state in Nigeria. So if you are watching this video on YouTube, take your time to like, comment, share, and click on notification bell so that you can be notified anytime we share a new video or upload a new video on our channel. God bless you. See you the other time with another training topic in our tra training series. God bless you. Stay blessed.